Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry. And of course, in this episode, we are going to continue our study of organic chemistry, but most specifically, we are going into a means. A means, okay? Okay, some people call it a means, all right? But of course, it can be pronounced a means. So uh, do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jam CBT Practice app. Okay, we'll talk about the app in a moment, but let us see a question that relates to this Okay, that relates to a means, all right, from the O3 School Jam CBT Practice app. Okay, from a past question, this is the 2022 question number 29. 2022 number 29. Okay, so it says that a means can be regarded as, it is being displayed on the screen right now, a means can be regarded as A, derivatives of ammonia, B, derivatives of nitrogen, C, derivatives of amino acids d derivatives of amides all right so uh, of course we'll come back to this question to answer it as related to introduction into a means this is an introductory class to a means all right we'll answer this at the end of the class because in all three schools we believe in giving you value first we believe that once we have given you value all right answering question will be the list of your problems so uh, make sure you download the three school jam cbt practice app it has all the past questions that you need for all the subjects that means that you will not need to bother about buying anything like past question likewise it has lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus that means you don't need to worry about buying textbooks up and down and likewise there are wonderful features like Question search feature like this, like the one we used to sort out this question. Okay, well, we can search for question according to topic, and the question that Jamba set under that topic will come back for you to answer. What is more also is that there's a mock challenge on the app every Saturday. In this mock challenge, we compete with all the students that are writing Jam for this particular year to win amazing prizes. But winning the prizes is not the major focus. Okay, because in that mock challenge, you get used to pass questions, Jam pass questions, Jam likely exam questions, and all the twists and forms that Jam can ask you questions all right as well as you see your result released every saturday thereby building your confidence towards the main exam activation of the app all right is very very cheap okay it's not up to the cost of rice and chicken in a good restaurant so please do not be stingy to yourself activate it and start practicing your way to success the app is available on your android phone it's also available for your computer systems all right so if you have a laptop you can also what use it so that you can practice what better all right so let us go to the uh to the board let's talk about what it means so it means they have the general formula c n h2 n plus one N H two, all right. This is the general formula of the amine C N H two N plus one N H two. So that if this is R, if this is represented as R, okay, we're not going to have what N H two as the general formula, okay. So they can be represented as what R O N H two, okay. So this is what the general formula for the amine C N H two N plus two. So the C N H two C N H two N plus one. NH2 or what? RONH2. Okay, this is the general formula for the word for the amines. Amines are compounds that have the amino group. Okay, this NH2 is called the amino group. All right, it's called amino group. Okay, amines are compounds. All right, having the word the amino group. All right, attached to either what an alkyl group that we can see this area attached to either an alkyl group or what a phenyl group or what an aryl group. Okay, uh, uh, it means a compound having the amino group attached to either what an alkyl alkyl group. Okay, or what and what a phenyl what group or what an aryl group. Okay, so an amine, all right, an amine is a compound, okay, or it is something that is derived from ammonia, all right, it is being derived from what? From ammonia, all right, so you can see ammonia, this is ammonia, N, okay, having long pair of what of electrons, H, H, H. So it means it's something that what that will derive from ammonia when one of the hydrogen atoms, when one, just one or, or more, when one or more of the hydrogen atoms have been what replaced either by an alkyl group, either by an alkyl what group, or what an aromatic group. 
take note of that. So we say an amine, okay, is something or it's a compound that has been derived from what? From ammonia. It has been derived from what? Ammonia. Ammonia is what is NH3. Okay, when one of the what hydrogen present in this ammonia has been replaced either by an what by an alkyl group or what, by an aromatic what group. Okay, if the hydrogen atom, okay, if one of the hydrogen atom is being replaced or has been replaced by an alkyl group, we call that what an aliphatic amine. Aliphatic amine. All right. If the H, okay, the hydrogen atom has been replaced by an alkyl group, we call that what an aliphatic amine. All right. But if the what hydrogen atom has been replaced by an aromatic group, okay, we call that what an aromatic amine. So take note of what of that. So we have what aromatic amine when what the hydrogen atom present in the nitro in the ammonia has been re has been replaced. By what? By an aromatic what group? Why we have an aliphatic amine when the word hydrogen has been replaced by what now? By an alkyl what group? So please take note of what of that. So an example of of a, of an a aliphatic amine, all right, will be something as simple as this. Let's say we have methylamine. Methyl amine is the simplest what amine. Okay, methyl amine. All right. So this is also called what methyl what amine. So it is what the simplest uh, simplest what amine. It's also called amino methane. This amine is also called amino methane. Okay. So if it has been replaced by an alkyl group, it will be like this, like CH3. N H two, okay, you get it now. When one of the what H here has been replaced by what by an alkyl group, we call it what uh, an an aliphatic amine. An example is methyl amine, which is also called amino methane, which is CH three N H two. You get that now, all right. An example of an aromatic amine, all right. Well, when we saw uh, derivatives of uh, of benzene, we talked about what this what uh, this derivative called aniline, all right. We call it what aniline. Okay, this aniline is also called phenyl what amine. Phenyl, phenyl amine, all right? An example of an aromatic amine is something like this, all right? They will now have it what? NH2. This is called aniline, all right? So now, we have seen what aliphatic amines, we have seen what aromatic what amines, okay? We have seen the simplest member of the amines. We say the simplest members of the amine is what? Is methyl what amine, all right? That is what CH3 NH2. Okay, the next member of the amines is called ethyl amine. Okay, let's look at that. It's called what? Ethyl amine. Let's see. That is like this. Ethyl amine. All right. This one is also called amino ethane. This one is called amino methane. This one is called amino what? Ethane. This one is what? C2 H5. And it was two. Okay, simple as A B C. This is what your amino what ethane. Okay, so this one uh, the simplest amine. We have what methyl group here. All right, that's why I call it methyl amine. A, a, one of the hydrogen atom being replaced by a methyl group. That's why it's called a methyl amine. This one, one of the hydrogen atom in the ammonia being replaced by what by an ethyl group. All right, that's why this one is called what ethyl ethyl what amine. Okay, this ethyl amine and this methyl amine they are both what gases. Okay, they are both gases. Okay, and they are what soluble in water. They are very soluble in water. Okay, and the reason why this ethyl amine and this uh, methyl amine are very soluble in water is because of their ability, their ability to form what hydrogen what bonds. Okay, their ability to form hydrogen bonds. That is the reason why they are what they are soluble what in water. Okay, so please take note of that. They are what both gases and they are very soluble in water. All right, and basically it is very important to know that amines are what are strong bases. They are what strong bases. And why are amines strong bases? The reason why amines are strong bases is because they are what the the nitrogen. Okay, in the amino group. Have what lone pair of electrons, okay? So if you have your amino, your amino group NH two, 
Okay, there's what now? There's a what a lone pair of electrons on what on this what nitrogen that is what on this one on this what amino what group. Okay, this nitrogen forming amino group has what lone pair of electrons. This is the reason why they are what they are what they are very very what, strong what bases. They are very strong bases, so they will have the characteristic of what of a base such as what turning red litmus paper to be what to be blue. Okay, that is what a base can do. Okay, so we we'll see a question that relates to it from the application. Please take note of what of that. So now the solubility of a means also the solubility now, the solubility of a means, okay, is due to the ability to form hydrogen bond also, okay, is due to their ability to form what hydrogen bonds. We talked about it already. I thought I thought I already hinted it. So the solubility of a mean is due to the ability to form what to form hydrogen bonds. That is why we say that what they are what soluble in water. They are soluble in water because of their ability, okay, to what to form what to form hydrogen what bonds. So this is just an introductory class to what to a means. In the next class, I'm going to be seeing classification of a means. So please make sure you stick with us. But before we go, we are going to what go to the O2 school jump up right away and what and answer the questions that we have searched using the word the uh, question search feature. This is a 2022 question uh, number 29. We saw before they said a means can be regarded as what? Okay, A, they say derivatives of ammonia, B, derivatives of nitrogen, C, derivatives of amino acid, D, derivatives of what? Of amines. Okay, so a means are regarded as derivatives of what? Of ammonia. We got them from what? From ammonia. Oh, all right, from ammonia. All right, we have what? Our long pair here. Okay, from what? From ammonia. So they are what? Derived from ammonia. When one of the words hydrogen atom, like we said, has been what replaced either by an alkyl group or an aromatic what group. All right, so now let us go on. Now, 2013 number 44. Okay, so uh, in the question we're giving, which of the following compounds in solution will turn red litmus paper blue? A, there, we are definitely giving an all the high there. Okay, so. All the I do not say, we never said all the I's are bases. Okay, so B, arrow, O, arrow, that's what a ketone. Then C, you are giving an amide. Then D, you are giving what an amine. And we said that what amines are strong bases. It is still on the board. Amines are very strong bases. So they will have what the characteristics, the characteristics of what of a base. And one of the characteristics of a base is that what they can turn red litmus paper to blue. And acid turns blue to red. Okay. A based on red to what to blue. That is why our correct answer there will be option D, which is what an A means. So there are thousands of other questions on this application. Make sure you download this and activate it and start practicing your way to success. My name is Master T. I am the Grand Commander of this OTD Schools Army. I'll see you in the next class. We'll talk about classification of A means. See you there.